one through. <clears throat> one second. I have burnt my bread. Now we may begin. <laughs> it's the shittiest fucking joke, I'm sorry. Um, that was, uh, that was really bad. Uh, is this joke dead? No, it's not. I'm so warm. I was gonna wear my Persona 25th anniversary jacket for the vibes, but one, it's really big on me, so I look like I'm drowning. And two, it is so warm in Texas. I physically have to go change. <laughs> okay, now you may say, Aaron, it's Texas. You just put on a different long sleeve. How are you any colder? Um, fuck you. <laughs> That's how. Hi, it's 10 p.m. The teaser leaked at like six o'clock my time. Like we were, it was either gonna be today or in two days, so Saturday, when it was going to be announced. Cause we knew, cause we knew it was coming. We've known, those of you who follow me on Twitter know that any scrap of Persona 3 news that is deemed the slightest bit credible has me foaming at the mouth. Like, oh boy. So I played this game recently for the first time, immediately skyrocketed to my top five games of all time, easily the top three of that list. I love Persona 3. Persona 3 was basically, it was my hole, it was made for me. It has like 80% of my hyperfixations in it and I love it. Uh, this game is made for me, so I wanted a port. I wanted I wanted a port and got the port and I got to play it, it was great. Streamed it live, go watch it. Um, but I wanted a remake. That being said, I was a little bit afraid. I still am a little bit afraid, but I, I distinctly remember I was really walking to get coffee with my friend on Easter, because we were celebrating celebrating. I was raised Catholic, which means I didn't do anything because I'm an adult and live on my own. <laughs> so we went to get coffee and as we're walking to the place, I distinctly stopped in my tracks and went, holy shit, holy shit, Yukari. Cause the picture of Yukari firing her bow aired. And so of course we're all like Persona 3, Persona 3. Cause there was that leak even before that, that was saying that Persona 6 and Persona 3 were both pretty far along in development. And I was like, okay, grain of salt, grain of salt doubt.png press x to doubt and i was ha i'm still so warm but i refused to take off the flannel oh the misery and then there was the whole thing about the website how there was a p3r or p3 re website booked and I, that was like the nail in the coffin for me that that was a moment of holy shit this is happening which makes this the second or third time this has happened where i've played a game and been like, holy shit, I want to play the prequel, or holy shit, I want to play, like, the original. And within a year, a remake or remaster has been announced. Uh, this has happened several times. The clearest example was I beat Nier Automata, or I played really far through Nier Automata, and was like, holy shit, I want to play Replicant. Uh, I will fucking hunt down a copy of Nier Gestalt and play it on my Xbox 360, jank and all. And the next day, version 1.22 was announced. So like this, this is something that's happened repeatedly. Um, Apollo Gift of Prophecy meme video game that I fucking love. Uh, so I am, it's only a minute and 10 seconds. Before I go in, I, I like I'm excited, but I am genuinely a little bit concerned. The fact that it's called Persona 3 Reload or Reload does give me some hope because there was some thought that they were going to try to censor it a little bit. Uh, and it's good to know that that's not going to be the case, but I am hesitant because in Persona 3, you can see the seeds of things that later bloomed into full problems through four and five. Like the hot spring scene, like having played them in reverse order, I started with Royal, went to Golden and then played three, uh, played P3P. Um, you can literally see like as the series got more popular the director's worst impulses were kind of allowed to flourish so like the bath scene in persona 3 is fucking fine there's no there's no aggressive fan service it's not awkward my biggest problems with persona 3 is that you can date ken amata what the fuck atlas um <laughs> and that's something that only became more apparent with five when you can date your teachers Anyway, we're not here to talk about that. We are here to talk about Persona 3. Um, I will actually eat this. I wasn't joking. Did I immediately go and burn my bread on purpose? Yes, but I didn't burn it as much as I could have because I like my toast like this, actually. 
Okay, uh, I also... So my, my biggest fears and hopes for this, for, for the game in general, I don't think the trailer will show all of this. Uh, one, uh, let us assign... Let, direct commands. Direct commands. We had direct commands in P3P. We had it in P3P. Please put it in a new format. I'm begging you. My biggest one should surprise no one, especially if you can see the fucking bobby pins I tucked into my hair. Femsy! Yes. Give us Femsy again. Specifically give us Femsy with the answer. I would love to play through the answer as Femsy and also get all those cutscenes again. Uh, like having played Persona 3 Portable, uh, again, as a port, you can really tell, like, I watched all the cutscenes on YouTube rather than like play the visual novel version of them, and they have so much more impact. And like while I still enjoy the experience, I mean it's one of the top my, my top five games, like you definitely feel that kind of lack. And I would really like it if we had fucking Fem C. I mean, thankfully Atlas has let her out of jail more recently. She was in PQ2. Uh, she was in their 25th anniversary like merge and art. So it seems like she's grown in popularity enough that they're like letting her out of the closet. I really hope that they're in this. Uh, so my biggest concerns are more fan service, uh, no FMC. I'm. They wouldn't change the the music too much, would they? Hot take here. I like the really grindy element of Tartarus. Like I know it's not for everyone. It's very JRPG, but I feel like it reinforces the narrative of Persona Three and the vibes of it. And I would really if. In some ways, like I remember when I first played, especially after playing 4, which has the more randomized dungeons, I was very frustrated that you couldn't go down levels. That is one thing I would love if you could go down levels, but like the grindy nature of it adds to the atmosphere. Um, I want all the same voice actors with one exception. Fuck Vic McNipple. Be gone, thought. You know who would be a great Junpei? Joe Zija! Joe Zija! Why is my mic spiking so much? It's never spiked this much. Joe Zija, I'm gonna preemptively turn it down because I know I'm gonna be screaming. I mean, it is 10 o'clock at night, so I do need to be a little bit quiet, but my upstairs neighbors are loud as shit and constantly drop their cigarette butts on my deck. So I have no sympathy. I am literally, when this dropped, when, when the leak came out, I was on my way to the gym. I muted Twitter, I muted fucking everything and was like, do no one, like, cause I know, like as soon as it dropped, I had like four people at me on Twitter sending me the, the teaser and I was like, do not! Of which, can we just have a moment of silence for, for the poor fucker at Atlas who leaked it early and probably was fired. Oof. Uh, also F in the chat for my fucking bobby pins. I didn't have enough, so it's 12 instead of 22. My hair is too thin for bobby pins. Um, you also will not be able to see it with my headphones on. God, I'm... So I'm worried they censored things. Like, they, they made it more PG and less aggressively. Because, like, P3 is kind of dark. It wasn't as dark as I expected. But, like, it's kind of metal. And I wouldn't be surprised if they nerfed it. I hope they didn't. Um, I don't want Cyan Nuke. I want a solid... I want a classic remake. Fem... Uh, yeah, other fears. Other fears. I, I keep changing between the two. I, I'm afraid of no femcy. I'm so afraid of no FMC. Um, they kept Vince, that's another fear. It's a minor one, because I doubt, I doubt. But, okay, we're just gonna go in. Okay, oh God, I'm not. I'm curious if they changed the demons uh, so that it was like five, or if they left it how it is in three and four. Because three and four, they're their specific shapes, like they're the tables and whatnot. Whereas as five, it is literally the personas that you <laughs> slurp up. So I'm curious if they changed it. I'm very curious about like UI changes, and that's something we won't know. Um, I believe some people said winter 2023, and then I saw something that said March or early 2024. My soft guess is how fucking cool would it be if it dropped on March 7th, 2024? I, I don't know. I think that'd be a nice touch. I would cry. Oh, okay. Oh, God. I literally, like, yesterday when we got the, the update that the title was going to be like reload or reloaded, uh, I started blasting brand new days. Today I've been blasting burn, bla blasting burn, blasting burn my dread. All right, let's just, oh God, I'm not ready. Okay, okay. May contain content inappropriate to children. Tell that to 10 year old Kanamata. Unreal, Un unreal? I guess. Wait, so we get the cutscenes. Oh, interesting. They're not 2D. They're fully 3D. 
Unless this is just trailer merch. Oh, new sprites! Oh, you car looks so good! Fucking Kenji. He looks exactly the same in the new style. Telepurosa? Why is it in Spanish? Ooh, that menu looks rad. Oh, I want to see if we can choose... <laughs> Man, I love not being able to read this language! <laughs> My Spanish isn't that good. <sighs> okay. Early 2024. Okay, god, there's already so much to unpack. There's already so much to Okay, Windows. Okay, so I can't play on my PC. Okay, I'm gonna go back a version. Uh, because my friend sent me a different file version, so we're gonna see. So we can run around. It is- It's interesting what that's Unreal- Was Persona 5 on Unreal? God, she looks so good! She looks so good! Oh my god, you Yukari! Oh my god. Like, don't get me wrong. I love the new sprites. I do have such a soft spot for the sprites in three because they are so clearly hand drawn and drawn or so clearly drawn traditionally in scanned in. I have such a soft spot for that, but she looks so good. Can you cook with them now? Can you cook with them now? Okay, God, it looks so fucking good. Fucking Kenji. Okay, we're gonna, it's interesting, but Holy shit. You know what? That's smart. That's smart. Fuck, that's so smart. I bet you, I fucking bet you the reasons these cutscenes are game and not 2D animated is because it makes things easier with implementing Femsi. Because you don't have to hand draw the same animation twice with two different versions based on which, which main character you chose. You just plop in the model. Holy shit. I know it's too early to think. I know it's too early to think. But I feel like this low-key confirms Femsi for me. This, this like, confirms it in my heart. I will genuinely be shocked now. Like, I was worried, but I think this, like, confirms it. God, I'm gonna... She looks so good. So again, because I played P3P, I never got to run through the school. So this is gonna be wholly new for me. Is this a new song? She also looks very good. She looks related to Yukari though. <laughs> More like Ace Defective. His new sprites look so good. His fucking sprite looks exactly- Kurosawa looks exactly the same. Oh, okay. That's smart. They can- they like took the elements of P3 and then added the style of P5. Oh, the dark hour. My Spanish is very slow. Yeah, so the fact that all of these cutscenes- The fact that all of these cutscenes are 3D this fucking confirms it for me. Holy shit. Oh, that also, it also just looks red as, red as hell. Cause like, I definitely, of course, prefer the awakening from the two, the, the animated one. That being said, I actually found the shadow creepier in the 3D model version. So like, as much as I'm glad that this probably means FEMC, I don't like how it looks as much, if I'm being completely honest. Okay, so there's the map, Zaya 123. They're, they're telling you right now how deep Tartarus is. Okay, how fucking funny would it be? How fucking funny would it be if they added like 20 extra floors to Tartarus as a fuck you to everyone who said it was too long? Command. Okay, so we can, we do have direct controls, that's good. And the shadows are the original ones, that's nice. One thing that is kind of a bummer, like they kept the energy of it a little bit, they stylized it a little bit more. So with the wheel, it used to be, at least in uh, in, P3, in base P3, it was the chamber of a gun. What was the wheel through which you accessed it. So like this is still kind of that, but heavily stylized. Critical attack. Okay, that's such a fucking cool. 
That being said, the fact that we have this screen makes me worried that maybe it won't we won't get FEMC, but I feel like broadly speaking they would still do it. Cal calendar. Thank God, that's going to make life things so much easier. Oh, one other thing that I desperately desperately want. Let us Pick which skills Personas inherit the amount of time- I know this was just a P3P thing. I know it was just a P3P thing. It wasn't like this in vanilla P3, but the amount of times that I had to fucking click through to make sure that Thanatos got Moodoon and fucking Moodo boost, like... I wanted to fucking die. So just let me choose my skills. I can't imagine. It is weird seeing him like that. Spiral. Oh! Okay, so you do still shoot yourself in the head. Full disclosure, I was worried about that. The fact that it's the Tartarus mix playing in the background is very interesting to me. That's the Tartarus music. All right, hold on. Uh, I'm gonna pull up an older version. Unless all of the versions are in Spanish. <laughs> Femsi's trending. <laughs> Bun's tweeting, I sense Persona 3 Femsi as DLC in the air. Fair. It would be the most Atlas thing. I would actively cry. I... I'm literally just like... <laughs> Like, I knew it was coming. I've known since fucking Easter that it was coming, but having, like, actual confirmation... I'm literally going insane. I'm <laughs> just, like, giggling, kicking my feet. Oh, God, I'm so excited. Okay, okay, so my... Now... Now that we... Okay, some of my concerns were crossed off. As upset as I will be if, as if we do not have FEMC, the... We had better at least get the male social links from it. Like, we fucking better. And, and the rank, and the platonic rank tens. And the platonic rank tens, cause like, I'm not gonna cheat on my girls. I'm not gonna cheat on them. And in P3, you kinda had to have a harem or you couldn't max them out, so. God. I wonder if they got Laura Bailey back for FEMC, if we got FEMC. They didn't show Ryoji, which is good. I'm honestly surprised that Faros wasn't in the teaser. I would have, I would have opened with that, honestly. But I guess this is, this is more of like a teaser and less of a trailer. Maybe in a proper trailer. God. God. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> oh, I'm so happy. <laughs> yeah, I have to go to bed after this. Red burnt. I could have sworn that was a new Lotus Juice song. God, I'm just so. Just... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm just gonna be giggling. I'm gonna cut the video because I'm just gonna be giggling for the next 20 minutes if I leave. Okay, no, no, we're not. We're not gonna do this. We're, you know, no. I'm not gonna be a bitch about it. I'm not gonna be a little bitch about it. Oh, another worry. I am worried that they remove pansexual igus. That is a fear. Wait. Okay, so we see Yukari, and we see igus. And Junpei. We haven't seen Akihiku... Yeah, Hiku? Akihiko Mitsudo... Or Fuka. I understand not showing Shinji for obvious reasons. But where's my boy? I want to see my boy. Hee ho! Also, like, I do love that the title is Reload. That being said, I personally would have chosen Resurrection or Rebirth to go with the theme that your persona is literally Messiah. But okay. Oh fuck, I put my C's gun away. I was using it for animation reference earlier. 
<laughs> oh, I should have worn my Junpei hat. I'm gonna fucking go over every picture of this with a goddamn fine tooth comb. I am glad that the shadow they're keeping the old shadows. God. God, okay. I literally just have the fucking uh, want to be close playing in my head. Let's see. Can I spot my tennis bitches? I'm gonna be honest, I kind of like his old sprite better. Oh, I keep like, laying down. I kind of like, I like Junpei's new sprite. He looks like less of a fuckboy. I feel like his old sprite had more personality though. This is very much just like, where his old one was like, hey, you know? <laughs> anyway, that's just my own personal gripe. Wait, there's someone in the courtyard you can talk to. Who is it? Who is it? They have a white head. But no, that's not, that's not my boy. Where's Akihiko? It's nice to see the dorm in 3D though. Though, I, honestly, I feel like they could have done higher poly for it, but okay. Where the fuck is Koromaru though? Do love how that looks. Also, it makes more sense to have it be in like a back room of the police office versus where it is in portable, where you sure are, do just walk through the door and are at the main desk and in the wide view of everyone. Hand a man like the bit most sorts. <laughs> also, I know that they won't, but I would really appreciate it if we do get Femsy that it makes it red and not pink, because God, that pink is a lot. And having the dark hour go from green to pink is not very pretty. Green to blue, fine. Green to pr green to pink. Yike. Okay. Anyway. Anyway, I'm on fire. I'm on fire. I am exploding. I am combusting. <laughs> I should probably watch the PT trailer. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna stop because this is just gonna be me shamelessly giggling and worrying about everything that I already said. Um, Memento Mori, burn your bread. Um, let Femsey out of jail. <laughs> That's all I'm gonna say. <laughs>